how to create a pricing table in wordpress hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a pricing table in wordpress so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to go into the plugin section over here and we're going to find a plugin that is used for pricing tables so over here in the search install plugins search for a pricing table over here as you can see just search for a pricing table um as we can see we have this pricing table over here we've already added that so we're good to go and next thing what we're going to do is we're going to click on pages and we're going to click on add new page it's going to take us over to this part of the website where we can just simply add a new page so we're going to go ahead and do that over here we can add in our title as well or we can edit with elementor it all depends on you or we can start our templates we'll choose on starter templates and we have all these different templates but we don't need that so we'll just go back over here oh i came back to the dashboard so we'll just go back over here and continue from there all right so over here as you can see this is the page so let me just go ahead and edit it with elementor and boom we're good to go wait a couple of seconds for it to be loaded up and we can go all right so this is how it looks like so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a section over here so this is the section now what we're going to do is we're going to add a inner section over here and boom there we go so we have two columns what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this column all right we're going to duplicate it boom we have our three columns ready now what we're going to do is we're going to click over here add and we're going to search for pricing table pricing table as you can see we have one over here and it's locked for, because it's for the pro version but basically you can see it in action you know you can buy it basically this is for the pro one this is what i was showing you so now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this all right we're going to go back to the plugin section and we're going to go ahead and add a new pricing table like this one i'm going to click on add new this is basically reusable block tables you know it all depends on you so as you can see this is how it looks like so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy a layout all right so choose a layout all right we're going to choose this one and we're going to go ahead and edit whatever we want so this can be like you know uh, a startup as well startup plan you know this could be the pro plan and then we have the corporate plan over here there we go and we can set our pricings as well so let's just say that the startup plan is worth 15 dollars, and the pro plan is worth 25 and the corporate one is worth 50 all right then we can add in some features we can say like um free hosting over here let's just say free ssl and then we have free domain for one year oh i opened up that and for one year for this one as well for one year so that's done now we can add like more features over here we can say well let's, let me just copy this one and let me just paste it over here and instead of one year we'll just say that it's for two years yeah two years for this one as well and then for a fourth we'll just say um 24 7 support boom now we'll just copy all of this and we'll just paste it into the corporate one over here and we'll say for life life over here as well and then over here as well for life that way people will know and uh, we'll also add one more feature we can just say that we give like uh 10 000 plus templates as well as you can see this pricing table is set we can see like add to cart add to cart over here and add to cart uh, it all depends on you you can go ahead and do it but once you've done it everything looks good just simply click on update and boom you're good to go so this is going to be your short code and we'll just copy that and boom now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our you know dashboard over here we're going to go into pages we're going to create a new page all right I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to add a new page in a couple of seconds for it to load up. And over here, as you can see, everything looks good. So we'll just say pricing table over here and see if everything looks good. Yeah, everything looks good. OK, now we're going to go ahead and click on edit with Elementor and boom, we're going to go ahead and start editing our template. This is very easy. So don't worry, guys, just follow along and you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and add a section over here. Once that's added, we're going to go ahead and add a intersection. All right, I'm going to add an intersection. Now we have this over here. Let me just go ahead and delete the column. So we have our intersection. We're going to click on add and we're going to add short code over here. 
So we have our short code, we'll add it over here and we're gonna paste that short code over here. So boom, as you can see, this is how it looks like. Mm, it's very weird looking, but you know, that's because it hasn't loaded up, I think. After that, just simply click on apply and all right, one minute, I think. Let me just try another way. Let me just delete that section add an intersection over here let me just duplicate this all right add a new column boom now let's go ahead and there we go short code and we'll just paste that over here there we go all right so it didn't work in the elementor but it did work over here into the standard uh you know editor so for this one all you got to do is just select the plus icon and over here you have your pricing table as well so you can just go ahead and add that and then just choose the you know layout and then just edit it out as well so over here i edit it and once everything looks good just simply click on publish all right and boom you're good to go so there you go that's how you basically you know uh post a pricing table and after that you're good to go so this is how it looks like once it's done so i hope this video was helpful to you remember it's pretty easy just you know choose whichever one you like and you're good to go so over here remember just go into the uh, plugins area all right download the uh, plugin install it and then over here you will have the pricing table and then over here just you can go ahead and add view all of the pricing tables and then you can edit them and then just simply go into the editor click on the plus icon over here and then just choose your layout and boom you're good to go and then you can edit them as well you can change the pricing you can add like you know what you offer the pro the starter the elite whatever you want so that's how you basically do it and as i said before you don't have to choose just like you know this particular pricing table you can choose any one you like even if you install the essential add-ons for elementor or elements kit elementor add-ons like it also has like pricing tables and you can even use wp table builder wordpress table plugin you can choose any one you want so for example let's just say that i want to use this one so all i have to do is just simply click on install and it'll be installed and just simply activate them and the process is going to be exactly the same all right so just simply allow the activation all right it's activating right here wait a couple of seconds boom as you can see it's done now this one is a little bit different because it has a little bit more options all right so as you can see you you have your background over here you have your text over here quantity column you know pricing column everything and uh, this one is i guess for premiums only like you can go ahead and upgrade it and it all depends on you and once you have everything set up you can just simply click on finish setup over here at the top right corner and you're good to go so over here you have a bunch of different options for this one like you have general you have product you have shipping you have payments all right you have account and privacy you have emails you also have integrations over here as well so you know if you wanted to integrate it with something you could go ahead and integrate it with and then you have your advanced ones over here like everything is all good and randy dandy and uh, you have a lot of options as well so over here at the left side over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options so if i click on home this is the woocommerce home all right so since this one for the uh as i said before for the woocommerce one so for this one you will have to create a woocommerce website and as i said before if you want you can choose other ones as well so if i go back to the plugins directory i just simply search for pricing table and i click on enter as I said before there are a lot of ones that you can use even this one as well the uh wp table builder so just simply click on install and you'll just simply have to activate it and you're good to go so wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed and we can go ahead and activate it as well so it's really simple it's really easy and as i said before if you have any questions or it doesn't work for you let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and if you have enjoyed this video or found it helpful be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and if you want you can share it with your friends and family members who are trying to get into this uh website building type of field so that they can also understand how it works and having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time goodbye